Let's go to 2007 uh, for Rob's pick, uh, 100 Tears. Two journalists are on the trail of a demented serial killer who may be much closer than they think. Directed by Marcus Koch, uh, known for special, mostly for special effects. He worked on the 2018 Halloween. Uh, he worked on We Are Still Here. Uh, he worked on Frankenstein Created Bikers. Uh, among 90 other <laughs> 90 something other credentials uh, written by Joe Davison. I don't, I didn't pick anything up from his IMDb. <laughs> I don't know. Jason, do you have any information? Yes. Tagline. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> that's all I, that's all I found. Uh, distributed by Anthem Pictures and on DVD through Unearth Films in 2014. Um, I really liked the intro sequence. Uh, there's this song playing uh, that sounds like Tom Waits. Uh, it's called Somebody's Knocking by the Voodoo Organist. And it sounds like this. Doom and gloom fill my room. It's very Yeah. yeah it's a good, uh, good way to start out um, a movie about a clown. Dog fashion disco and stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, it reminded me of that too. Um, but really started off on on a good foot. Uh, the acting is very bad. Uh, Im- immediately, I mean, immediately, it is very bad. Yeah. Um, which is really kind of sad too, because it's the main dude, the main protagonist character, the photographer guy. He's the writer, um, so he's like doing. You know, he's writing for himself and then acting badly in that role. He's <laughs> natural. <laughs> yeah. He's, <laughs> he's writing for himself, you know. Um, I can deal with bad acting if rad shit happens. So um, in this movie, some rad shit happens. I think that oh, yeah. it is balanced. The terrible acting is balanced by the great. I mean, I think they're great for what it is for their for their budget. I think it was 75000 is that what it was? I don't know. Uh, great special effects. Um, oh, yeah. I liked all the kill- killing. It's like a fucking guar show. It's it's crazy. Um, it's got a lot of handmade charm uh, that movies from this time period had. Uh, there's a lot of them. It reminds me of so many shitty brain damage movies I've watched or, you know, things from this these early 2000s. Um, just great they even did a great job choreographing the fight scenes which that's you know that's hard to do i assume i've never done that but god damn it it's got to be hard um and it go it starts getting gory right off the bat it's just from um, there's I'll like tell you, one, one of the, the first i think it's the first kill like where mm-hmm. they they use like a like a, a gel dummy or whatever yeah and when he starts hacking away like the camera don't the camera's on that figure. Like you see yeah. the blade going mm-hmm. in, you can hear it. Like you can feel it. Yeah. Like, like it's actually chopping. And I thought that's great. Like, yeah. I know they use, they use those, uh, Oh, the, shit. what's I know that? What uh, they're, uh, they're, um, they you practice. Ballistics? Yeah. There you go. Ballistics. Yes. Um, they're, they're, oh. they're but I think yeah. more people should start doing that. It, I mean, when like, you have, that was a, great. If you can get a bunch of them, you can do some really cool shit. They are not cheap. They're they're probably a few hundred dollars, I assume. I I mean, if these guys got one, shoot, he's big big budget film. This this guy had worked on so many fucking special effects movies, he probably knows how to make his own, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. that's really, I think that was the first time I'd seen that in a movie. I, I, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, this is some shit that like if I would have saw this at sixteen, I would have been like, "This is my that, you know what my favorite movie is? It's Hundred Years." <laughs> like I would have totally, uh, and I'd be like, I would be like, "What's that?" And I'm like, "You would if you know if you knew you'd be you know. <laughs> he's like right, a right. pretentious asshole about some mo- low budget movie." Oh. Um, as, as much as I love the song that opens the movie, uh, there is a song that happens later on while this girl is getting eaten out in an alley. Um, that makes me want to write letters not only to the band, but to the people that made this movie and put the song in because it sounds like they, they found an early 2000s cover band with one original song and put it on the uh, on the soundtrack. Uh, it's the Independence. The song is called Alone. And here you go. Down the street, when you're coming and blowing your hats, I'll be that old. 
This is this is going on during that scene. Yeah. It starts. That song starts when they he, they meet up in the bar, and then she goes out in the alley, and the guy eats her out. And through that whole scene, that song is playing. Hmm. Fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Alone. It reminds me of so many bands that you guys used to play with, like <laughs> five five people. Do you remember that band? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I always left as soon as we were done playing. I'm out. I pack yeah. up my shit and I'm gone. That happens. Um, really, it's a really rough sound mix on the on the whole movie. The dialogue's yeah. really low sometimes. Like they almost like they didn't have a boom or something. Like I don't know. And it might help yeah. if they would have turned down the tonal humming that they were putting in in an attempt to score it in a weird way. Because you know, if you don't have good mics, you know, from my short experience with making films and stuff, if you don't have good mics, you need to turn that shit the fuck down um, or off uh, completely. Um, the the one girl who ends up being uh, Gertie's daughter in the movie is a cutter and there's nothing really much more dated than that or cringy. Uh, do people, do girls still do that? Is that still a thing that goth girls do? Does anybody, anybody know a cutter in their life? I don't know, but they, they uh, didn't do a good job on that. Like they, they did fail yeah. on that part. Cause like half the time it's just, just leaving scratches. And then, yeah. then, it, then a random time it'll, it'll actually have some blood come out, but it's just for the most part. It's just, well, I mean, like it, it just turns yeah. pink where she scratches herself. Um, th- this girl becomes uh, really, really cringy later. Whenever she does unbearable, the, the crazy giggles <laughs> that like there's it's like a lot of girls in these low budget films went to the Sherry Moon Zombie School of Acting, where it's giggly, crazy baby talk things, and I hated it. Um, but you know who does a great job is Jack Amos. He is Gertie. Uh, solid. I'm glad they didn't make him have some weird voice or like do some crazy dialogue or whatever. He's just a killer. Um, I would like to see him uh, s- cross over with uh, Art the Clown as a side, be a sidekick or whatever. <laughs> they could do like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, I do feel uh, like I'm represented in this movie because the guy mark who's the writer or whatever at the end of this movie he is put into a scenario that people with my body type and our body type (laughs) don't get put into very often and he is doing some fucking spin moves and jumping around and i'm like this i mean you don't see a hero like that he does die but you know regardless he went down fighting he he did some shit he jumped on some boards i saw he was going you know uh it was hilarious how they ended this movie uh it was almost like they couldn't really figure out an ending we're running out of time and uh somebody was just like uh, okay well then he, she shoots her dad and gets in the car and driven, <laughs> it's driven by the same one and so, you know, it's, it's like they just kind of there's no connective tissue they don't show you why or how any of that happened it, you know regardless i gave it a five out of ten Without the special effects, it would have been a two or a three. Uh, fun, easy watch, though. Um, even if it is a little longer than it needed to be. But that's my opinion. Yeah, so we got a low-budget indie horror. Um, and I wasn't expecting much. I, I watched the trailer. I thought the trailer looked awful. I really wasn't even looking forward to watching this movie. Um the acting, the acting is rough for sure. But I actually thought the the lead, the the actress, I thought she was pretty good. She was the she best. Cer- she certainly was better than than the the writer. I I'm I'm now learning. Uh, but yeah, I thought I thought she was she was pretty good. Um, but it doesn't matter. This movie is all about the gore, the effects, mm-hmm. the kills, and they do all they do all of that well. Um, there's thirty <laughs> something kills in this, so there's well, I, well, you get yeah. Your oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, like there's a lot, like right, right from the get go, like right mm-hmm. in the first, I don't know, twenty minutes, fifteen or minutes, so. yeah. Um, the, the fat guy chasing the dwarf around that was hilarious. That was funny, I was yeah. laughing, <laughs> like that was a, that was a good break in between all the all the gore. Um, uh, and when he says when he says to him, he's up on that bus or whatever. He's like, "What are you doing up there?" 
I'm a dwarf. Look low. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't really remember the storyline to this. Um, but again, doesn't really matter. Um, it, it actually was better than I expected it to be. Uh, just going off the trailer. Still not really my thing. They did a good job with it, but it's, it's a four for me. Yeah, I saw this when um, back when Netflix was still the only big streaming service. They had this on there. I, and I had watched a bunch of stuff. This was like one of the last things I watched before, you know, everything started coming out other places. But um, obviously the gore. Holy shit. You said the director was a special effects artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. you, Yeah. Like obviously this is like the craziest demo reel <laughs> you know like it was it's pretty badass um gertie the clown was cool that giant fucking meat cleaver that the thing cleaver, was yeah. badass mm -hmm. that was like some pyramid head silent hill shit like that yeah. thing was bad and it could have went bad for him too making a decision like that that could go bad you know mm -hmm. you take the safe bet you take the little garden hoe you just that's easy <laughs> You you doing something like that where you're cutting heads off, you know it could go bad. <laughs> did you um did you watch past the credits like all the way past the credits? No, I did not. There is a scene where the main girl, um the you know the the main main girl, not the, the blonde, the, the reporter, the reporter. Yeah, she wrote a book about this. Oh, really? and then she signed in autographs, and then um. Fucking Gertie comes up out of makeup, dressed like a normal dude. Oh. And she goes, What's I your name? Watch that. Yeah. She goes, What's your name? And what was his real name? Leon? Something that actually kind of pisses me off because I always fast forward to the end just to check. And yeah. I didn't do it on this one. <laughs> then you tell me there's something there. Yeah. Um, of course. Figures. I heard they're going to make a sequel. So, uh, let's eh. see. They always they say that. They money for it, and it didn't go through. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not sure if they're still going to try that again, but I haven't seen any other attempts. Yeah, yeah I, 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 there were obviously the gore. I'm, I'm a gore hound, you know. Like, I lo uh, that was the big draw of this movie. With Frank, you were right. Without it, it would, you know, this movie would have drowned. You know, there would have been nothing to keep you interested. I liked, I liked his daughter up until she went Sherry Moon crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I liked her up until then. I thought she mm -hmm. was cool. But then she just got, like, the, the daddy, I want to kill. Yeah. And I just, ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> ugh. Shut up. You could have just, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> reshot, reshoot that. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't, don't make don't that choice. Use the first take. Don't use the first take. <laughs> like, come on. You know. Um, That's a wrap. Yeah. We got it. I, I, we got it. I, I did like the main duo. They had some good chemistry together. Um, the, the writer and the reporter. The writer, I thought he was funny. Yeah, yeah. there were some parts. There were some I, parts. He was like, trying. He was sure I, as fuck he, trying. I felt to. like, exactly. He knew, he's he's like, I know I'm not an actor, so I'm just going to act this like maybe an exaggerated version of mm. myself. Yeah. You know? And I feel you like know, that's how he presented you know how himself. I, I, I bet this movie was constructed by the director coming up Around with a the list. Kills. Coming up with a list of special effects kills. Mm -hmm. And then the writer just writing because they there's never a point really where except for the end where those two worlds need to meet uh, i mean at all because they're following you're following two different things so that's just how i think it, i don't know there's so much disconnection between what those two worlds it seems like because one's crazy like when he cuts that dude's legs off or is it a girl uh, oh yeah the girl yeah crazy effects and then you go nuts. back and it's like it's like two different things almost i don't know <laughs> yeah i i i mean you know definitely it's worth a check out check it out at least once mm -hmm. and then if you ever want to revisit cool if not you're not missing anything i gave it a six because it really delivered on that gore really really did mm -hmm. i i 
I dug that. The special effects were real good. Rob? Uh, I got a soft spot for this one. It's like one of my favorite films of all time. I give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> or it was just fantastic. The acting, it's like I never watch a horror film for the acting. I, yeah. But the special effects of the gore are really easy to please if there's tons of it. Mm. And there was. The meat cleaver chopping through bodies, guts spilling everywhere. The wheelchair kill, come on, you guys had the fun. Oh, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was funny. And yeah. then, come on, someone tries to try to fight the clown. It's a giant clown with a knee cleaver. That's when you run, you don't fight. And the dude's just like, he got what he deserved. He you said, you're going to go up and try to fight a clown with a giant meat cleaver. What type of intelligence does that, is that? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I did, yeah. I did like the... I did like those two carnival guys, um, the dwarf and uh, the old guy. I, they were cool. Mm. Yeah. So I, I, uh, I dug them. So I, uh, well, at least that I know of. This is the third unearthed films that I've seen. One, we're and the other one we're reviewing uh, here shortly. But the other one I've seen was uh, Song of Solomon. Oh yeah, it, mm-hmm. it was very that was, that was... heavy. So is that is that their thing? Unearth, they like they're all about the gore. Yeah, they, they got like yeah. gory films and stuff. I figured that was maybe their forte. And then you know, unearthing like maybe lost films too. I think they've done that. And well, don't they I have a film called movie. Unearthed? Like, isn't am I or am I wrong? I maybe. thought I saw a poster in the background and maybe listed somewhere in the credits of these guys. I don't know. 